What's good, y'all? It's your boy, Mixtape Moth. Duffel Bag Rand is back on the scene with this brand new project, continuing to remind us why he is one of the nicest MCs in the game, despite being forever slept on by mainstream hip hop media. Now, this is actually Ransom's first album of 2022, even though he is this prolific artist. This is his first solo project of the year. Obviously, with Ransom, you were getting well-crafted street scriptures and intricate bars of pain. This new album, No Rest for the Wicked, contains 11 tracks and lasts approximately 39 minutes, so it's a little longer than some of his past solo material since around 2020. We have three tracks produced by Nicholas Craven, who has had insane chemistry with Ransom uh, over the past couple of years, but the rest of the production is handled by some lesser known producers like Streezy, Bernard Woodside, Mayor, Big Jack, and Prophecy. Uh, but with that being said, let me go ahead and just hit y'all with this track by track breakdown. This thing kicks off with The Hawk. It has a cinematic instrumental that gave me strong Rocky vibes there's a boxing champion theme throughout you can literally envision ransom going toe to toe in the ring bloodying up mcs but coming out victorious it's a hard hitting and fire track to set this off and it's definitely going to be motivational for the gym and in general it's hard to miss when you start your album out with boxing theme music. Track 2, Rituals with 38 Spesh, has a wavy and atmospheric beat that's a bit trap inspired. It's something different for Ransom to rhyme over, but I like the change up. They talk about what goes into being a real one. All the dedication, pain, discipline, grinding, and rituals. While Ransom had a dope verse, it was 38 Spesh who I feel was the MVP of this song. I just dug the rhyme scheme he used and his multi-syllabic bar. It was a long verse too. He rapped, I was giving slugs, getting rich, selling vicious drugs. When I sit in clubs, I drink a whole bottle and give your bitch the suds. I don't care if you crip or blood. This blue still will make your whole click drip blood till it's a flood. The making your girl drink suds from the bottle MVIP was pretty funny, and it shows that 38 is not in these clubs trying to simp on girls. But yeah, I have this as one of my favorite records. It's always good to hear these two pair up, and I like the more modern production we're getting. Circumstances is the single that was released a couple weeks back. I already did a track review for it, so I won't talk about it much here. So I like Nicholas Craven's warm, soulful production and Ransom thoughtful in grown man bars, but I thought Game's feature was pretty weak. And my opinion two weeks later on Game's feature still hasn't changed. He was definitely the weak link of this song, and I wish there was a way to edit out his verse on title. But other than that, I like this song. Hopefully the game's feature could possibly open up doors for Ransom, but I don't even think that a game feature still holds uh, that much weight in 2022. Track four, Overnight Success has another cinematic string beat from Streezy, the same producer from track one. This record is essentially a dedication to the grind. He's reminded folks of his long, arduous journey to the top. There was a lot of toil and sleepless nights. I like the following jewel. You gotta work if you believe in planning cause you'll never find your greatness on a beach, just tanning. So I was able to connect it back to myself because I personally never dug beach vacations as I've always felt pretty restless and like I was wasting my time on the beach. I'd much rather go to a new city, uh, check out the culture, go to the hood. Probably most people's idea of not a vacation, but switching gears, I found his following bars to be pretty epic. Wrote the Bible to this game, now it's time to write out the blunders. Few testaments, I wrote this new exodus, scripture by scripture, picture this is true excellence. Can't leave it up to God, cause I'm a true pessimist. This shit was dead and gone till this dude blew breath in it. Afterwards is the Nicholas Craven produced Compromised, 
where we are getting a fantastic soul sample on top of a violin. And Ransom reminds folks here that no sample snitching is allowed. This record is a complete bar fest with fire production from Craven. I like Ransom's sinister lines. We ain't got to meet if there's beef that'll make you a vegetable. Rest in peace. T-shirts. Artists make a sketch of you. Your brother want revenge, but that'll make it a death or two. There are other standout and rewind worthy bars like I ain't going to keep my enemies close. Never turn a wolf to a house pet, which is pretty insightful because as wise and as iconic as that keep your friends close, enemies closer line from The Godfather is, uh, Ransom's giving us a different perspective here. I also liked when he said, I'm a light sleeper. I don't trust it all. I know some dudes who worship Hove and recite ether. Fire. Track six, making it is essentially a perseverance anthem where he talks overcoming obstacles and he gives us the keys to success. The hook sounds like it could have been inspired by Nas's Life is What You Make It from I Am. The production here is smooth, polished, and soulful, reminding me somewhat of a beat that Drake would rhyme over. Ransom raps, went from park benches to long trenches, Louis Vuitton mentions on making a calm entrance, speaking right, cause some dudes will do time for the wrong sentence. There's also a line that resonated with me, just remember, never be so loyal that you betray yourself. It's just a reminder that you can't be blindly loyal to some people, especially if they put you in harm's way. You got to exercise good judgment and show some balance. The next track, Redemption, has some sample based production that does feel like a poor man's just blaze beat it does give off those 2000s rockefeller vibes however i didn't find it to be an amazing beat even though i am a big fan of soulful production still ransom manages to make the best out of it there's a lot of great lyricism and sharp game that ransom hands out on his track stuff like i gotta think twice when i pull this weapon of mine because no amount of money ever bought a second of time. I also really dug, I took some time off, then I went on a clever run. Classic after classic, the best will yet to come. Now my heart is forever numb. Now who is DMC that will cause a reverend to run? Fire run DMC reference. Yeah, Redemption possibly had some of his best lyrics on this album, but I feel the beat was a bit average uh, for the kind of soul production that Ransom's typically featured on. The subsequent song Capsons has a ghostly and mellow beat with strings and a vocal harmony. It's smooth and low key, but an effective backdrop for Ransom and Tyrant. This is a concept record that addresses all that is wrong with the social media era and the metaverse. Ransom and Tyrant basically address the elephant in the room and that is the society's lost being obsessed with things like likes, clicks, clout chasing, fake bodies, narcissism, and memes. Sure, it's not the first time that artists have exposed the weird reality of this social media age, uh, but the two do it well. Now, I like Ransom's verse, but I was also impressed with Tyrants. So let me know in the comment section who you feel had the better verse. I had never heard of Tyrant prior, but I do plan to check out his future work as a result of this feature. Then we get another highlight with the track Imperial Glaciers produced by Nicholas Craven featuring Willie the Kid. And this has a rich and sparkling soul instrumental from Nicholas Craven that is great. Ransom spits a fire verse with razor sharp precision. I do like the hook, although he does use the exact same cadence from Silent Murders of Coup de Gras. But the hook here did give me strong mid 90s New York City vibes, like something you would have heard from artists like Ray and Ghost, Nas, Mob Deep, or even Tragedy Gaddafi. One ransom line really caught my attention these little dudes using Drake's because they hearts on the line. Willie the Kid came through with some fly luxury bars, but it was Ransom who had the better verse. The second to last track is The Gambler, which samples from 
Marvin Gaye's Life is a Gamble. So it's a very smooth and angelic backdrop. This one is a concept song about all things gambling. Ransom provides uh, sharp gambling imagery and references throughout. He reflects back on all the gambles that he took not only in the streets, but also in the early part of his rap career. And he reminds us that if you want to advance, then you have to bet on yourself and be willing to take risks. Then the album comes to a close with beautiful grave sites featuring JR and Black Chakra. We get a higher pitched soul sample actually produced by JR, which is pretty effective, but I have heard this sample used a few times. It's a real punchline heavy record where you're getting slick wireplay from everyone involved. While I feel JR had some clever punchlines and I like Black Chakra's deep wordplay, it was Ransom who had the illest verse. But I really dug how Black Chakra ended his verse by mentioning all of Ransom's albums uh, and then saying this ain't even a poem, these are Ransom notes. Overall, I give this album a rating of four mics. This one really felt like a cohesive full-length project, more so than Ransom's releases in the past two years, which had been closer to an EP length, you could tell that he had taken his time with this one. The production I found to be mostly great, but there were a couple instrumentals that I feel could have been enhanced a little bit. Clearly, Nicholas Craven's were the best produced tracks, but some of the lesser known producers didn't really drop the ball either. I guess though, I wouldn't have minded the inclusion of an instrumental as hard hitting as let's say Rooftop Sermons or Claudine, both of which were produced by V Dawn. But as a whole, I don't have too many issues with the production as it was on the smoother and soulful side, you know, and Ransom brought his A game as expected. At the end of the day, I actually like this release a little more than last year's Heavy is the Head, which was a favorite for many. And I am looking forward to the additional projects that Ram will be putting out before the year is over. My favorite tracks include The Hawk, Rituals, Compromise, Redemption, Captions, and Imperial Glaciers. Let me know what you thought about this album in the comment section. It's your boy Mixtape Moth. I'm signing out. But be sure to hit that like button and please subscribe. As always, it's peace and blessings. Ransom, no rest for the wicked. One.